I don't know if this will get to you. I hope so. I can't go back in time and fix all the mistakes I made. But maybe I could leave something for the future. There are talented actors and successful entrepreneurs who also happen to call each other father and son. And the last time they were here, they got me lit as hell. <laughs> I missed it. Well, starting tomorrow, they play the same character 50 years apart in the Apple TV Plus series Monarch Legacy of Monsters. We are thrilled to welcome back Kurt and Wyatt Russell, everybody. Thank you. Well, Good thank you guys for being here. But now, Wyatt, I have to come to you first because I heard that you're yeah. getting baby number two is on the way. I'm going to cheer. Cheers to that. Yeah. Way. Cheers to I'm going to cheers to that. Yeah. Yeah. So now, cheers. Hey, he got a link out. Oh, with a link out. Right. Oh, look, there I have are. a stash. <laughs> Mary documents our relationship publicly, so I don't have to. Oh, um, it is so beautiful. Are you prepared for baby number two? How is Buddy feeling about it? Prepared as you can be. You just <laughs> kind of roll with the tide and see what, see what comes, and I think Buddy's understands there's a baby in the belly, but when the baby actually comes out, it's going to be like, oh, my God, wait, wait a minute. That's a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you are that grandpa that just does whatever he wants. Uh, he's, a, he's, just a, he's just a person who does whatever, whatever he wants. I'm delineating from what. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? Um, they're great. They, they, we, we're fortunate, uh, and, and, and I don't know, just uh, blessed, I guess. We, we have seven. Eighth is on the way, oh. and uh, they're great. I mean, it's it's it is nice to be so closely connected, but not having to really do anything. Well, <laughs> yes, because you get to send them. Home. I mean, you just yeah. enjoy it, yeah. and, and that's that. Well, I feel like he spoils Buddy. We do. Oh, totally. <laughs> and it's, it's but it's what they're supposed to do. It's like Buddy goes over to the house, and he goes immediately to the to the pantry. And, he's, and he gets the cookie. cookie. And All the like, snacks. That's what you did, you know. Like, it's yeah. worse. Go for it. You know, that's How many that's you what you're supposed to do, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, now, Goldie was recently on CNN, and she said that there was an unexpected visitor on your first date together, which I thought was so interesting. So let's take a look at this. You're, oh. I said, come on, I want to show you my house. I'm redoing it. And then we went upstairs, and we kissed, and suddenly the police came in. We looked down and we, he said, "Oh, Goldie!" I said, "Yes, well, we got a, a you know a, a signal that you know somebody broke into the house." And I said, "Well, I did, but you know we're fine." Okay, so now I need your take on this. What were you thinking when the cops showed no, up? No, what happened okay. was we 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 we, we really liked each other. We were like you know having a great time. We had been on a kind of a date, which was a rare, very rare thing for me. I just just didn't, didn't I don't know it was. When, when you're working with somebody, you're working with them. But she just, you know, she was fun, man. And so I said, let's, uh, okay. So well, I had no place to go. And we went to her house to see her house that she was renovating. It was locked. There were no keys. I said, well, let's go around the back, see if we can figure something out. Naturally. And we basically <laughs> kind of broke in. And we started walking around in the house. And then, uh, you know, walking around the house, one thing always leads to another. And uh, sure enough, when we're, do when we're involved with another, uh, uh, it's flashlights in the room, you know, and it's like, whoa, 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 what's happening? Well, these guys knew what they were doing, and they were really, uh, pretending they didn't know who it was and stuff, and it was Goldie's house, so... Yeah, that well, was it our, gave you guys a great story. It was our first. Yeah, you will yeah, never like, forget yeah. that. <laughs> no, no, you, no, you won't. <laughs> you guys, let's get into this new series because you guys play the same character 50 years apart. Tell us more about this show, though. Well. Well, it was really now, interesting. Yeah. We got this call. We we have had the opportunity um, uh, which we've never taken advantage of, to play father and son. Um, all of our family, we just sort of do our own thing. Goldie yeah. does hers, Kate, Wyatt, Oliver, myself. Boston's a therapist, so he's doing his own thing all the time. So uh, along came this opportunity uh, to play the same character, and it was Godzilla. That was, it was the world, the monsterverse. Didn't know much about it. I actually learned more from a two-minute conversation with my one of my five-year-old great-nephews, and I realized there was a whole monster verse that a lot of people knew about and were interested in. And I said, wait a minute, you know. So Wyatt was, you know, punching away, saying, I think this could be interesting. I think, you know, and, and it was just this opportunity to do something that neither one of us could think of anybody else who had ever done that. How did you research or collaborate on how to play Army Officer Shaw? <laughs> were there discussions about it? 
Actually, I, I was in the military. I was in the Air National Guard. Oh, okay. Um, but I did know some things and did talk to him about some of the, some of the protocols that, right. that were true. Mm -hmm. uh, we did, it wasn't one of those things where you needed to have an expert on the scene yeah, all the yeah. time. Right. But what was interesting was to watch him play the part of Lee because he's the one who's establishing the character. Uh, you know, I'm and the one who's going to have to. Fifty years yeah, later. Yeah, you know, wait a minute. That, that makes you know. I thought he was right-handed. You're now left-handed. What you know? All these things that you obviously that you say. Okay. And I started finding myself wanting to go down to the set when he was working and watching him. And it was really a different experience to watch your son for oh. the first time, not as a, not as your son, but as the character that you're gonna, you're gonna be duplicating. And, and we, we worked hard together uh, before shooting started on doing things that we would. Make sure the script was was in in the right zone to where I could be the kind of character that he be, he's, going he, he's going to become. And yeah. so you wanted to make sure that those things were in line, so that when we played them, we were just playing the scenes. We weren't trying to like do too much of the same thing. The fun part of this is is you know there's monsters everywhere. Mm -hmm. There's monster people. The fun <laughs> part is this lake. <laughs> you know what? You're I'm gonna finish this. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna finish this. this. So you were put on the hot seat with some of our burning questions, so hopefully you guys are ready again for a second round. Now, yes. this one is called Fill in the Blank, uh -oh. the Russell's edition. Yeah. Okay? Well, that's no glory here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start first. And by the way, you guys did it too well last time, so they turned up the heat this time. Okay. Uh, my first celebrity crush was... Marilyn Monroe. Alicia Silverstone. Ooh. Wow, two classics. Okay, so my favorite role of all time Both has been. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite role of all time has been. Nate Plisky. Um, uh, Playtest Cooper Redfield, I think was his name. Mm. Dan Trachtenberg. Oh, Black Black, Black Mirror. Mirror. Yeah. The last thing the two of us bickered about was. Well, Aww. that's not true. Well, we bicker. We do bicker. Are you what bickering about? We're bickering right now. That's the answer. That's the answer. That's what are you talking yeah. about? Bickering about bickering. Never bickering. Never bickering. Never bickering. <laughs> that, this one's for Kurt. Kurt, what's the one movie I regret? Uh, I, I, it's not. It's not. Uh, I don't like doing that. But there is one that I, I actually had a feeling of regret about because not because of any of the personnel, but because of what the movie sort of had to say, 3,000 Miles of Graceland. Mm. Um, why the one movie of my dad's I've never seen is... 3,000 Miles of Graceland. No, I've never seen Unlawful Entry. Uh, pretty good movie. That's a good okay, movie, by the way. You, should, you, you put that on your queue. Yeah. Uh, so now, a reality TV movie. show that you may be surprised I watch is... The Golden Bachelor. <laughs> Everybody is obsessed. Oh, he he wow. likes that. I, I actually watched it. Um, um, to, to see what it, what the obsession was about. Yeah. The most famous couple I've ever shared a double date with is probably in the Warren Beatty something whatever girl I was with at the time. I don't know. Warren Beatty and that Benning maybe. Oh. Or uh, I could. I, I mean, let me, let me, let me, give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? I don't know. They're famous. Oh uh, you know, yeah. Sly and his wife Jennifer. Ooh, those Look are... at me. Look Should at go on? Came out of like a like a, like a bridge troll. <laughs> no, no, no famous couples are going on dates okay. with me. So, Kurt, besides... Bruce and Demi? Hang on a second. <laughs> <Hang on>. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad opened a room oh, with him. Oh, no. oh, oh, he's going to keep going. Okay, now, Kurt, besides myself, the best portrayal of Elvis I've seen on screen is by... Oh, uh, the last one. Austin? Uh, uh, Austin Butler. Yeah. He did a terrific... Terrific job with, especially the music. I didn't think there was a lot of scenes that he, he was given the opportunity to do. Would like to have seen more of that for what he could do. But he was excellent with the music. He was and, phenomenal. And really good. Kurt and Wyatt, thank you guys so much for stopping by. We really do appreciate mm -hmm. it. And Monarch Legacy of Monsters premieres tomorrow on Apple TV+. Plus. Let's forget this late hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget this late hour.